professionals so i want to i want to give it a try i want i want to try it next year um i i actually would probably get a I probably put should put a prediction up at one point and see what the viewers think and then we'll take it from there probably not a bad yeah. idea yeah well it, it would be nice to have a english speaking streamer do the internationals on, there's usually the not usually there's only one or none for that isn't there well, aside from the others, uh, the languages, but it would be lovely to have, you know, someone out there we know. Yes, it, yes, it certainly would. So prediction is Raven, Admiral Raven to stream. What's international? International next year. Internationals next year. Let's all support him on that. Wow, looks like the prediction at the moment for. Um... Who will win this match? Your not your not your Vor is well forty k in front. Damn. <laughs> what? what was that again? Your Vor 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 Vor. I accidentally slurred my um, coffee here. <laughs> I am so tired. I'm so tired, ladies and gentlemen. Well, um, they've told both teams to understand bear ships. Please be careful. Yes, that is very important this time. That, yeah, we want to avoid that from happening again. <laughs> yeah. But, Vore's a very strong team, so you can see why the prediction is for Vore. I like to see Vore bounce back and just get into third place. But here we go. First battle for the night, folks, ladies and gentlemen. Um, here we go. Hold on to your seats. Let's go, Asia. And we're about to begin. All right. Okay. So, um, we will be drawing the first giveaway after this battle, by the way, folks. Um, so, Shin, take us through the YYUT lineup, and then Vamps, after that Shin's done, do the war lineup, please. All right. So, for Team Bravo, which is the YYUT, we have one Ohio, a Schlieffen, over sister, a Petro Pavlovs, Harugumo, gearing a Z42, a Marsau, and, and then we have a Trump. Wow. Interesting ships. Mm. Wow. And from Vaux, we have the Schieffen, St. Vincent, Worcester, Minotaur, Marcelli, Haragumo, Haragumo, Z42, and Marseille. All right, so um, let's just go with the camera angles here. I'm going towards Vore and see what they got over here. Let's see what we got. Oh, Haragumo has got... Yeah, see, so they're doing the same thing there from the first round with the uh, three DDs instead of three, it's four. Yep, that's yeah. right. If, if, if they do the Wolfpack thing, it'll be pretty lethal. But I... if, if, if you have a look at YYUT, they've got five DDs. Yes very strong um force so they will go as a wolf pack i reckon i have a feeling that you know like oh okay well has got the epic mod um you know the trump is a very unique warship to be thrown into the battle like this in the middle of cots i'm actually curious to see how yyut will actually play it out with this ship well, that's quite interesting. I don't usually see five DDs in clan battles, so it's rather interesting they're doing that format in cuts. Well, you know, like, well, you know, like to be honest with you, I mean, like, it'll be a welcoming change uh, to see what that's going to happen here. So let's just see how uh, Vor and YYUT play this out. But at the moment, right now, it's, uh, as I predicted, it looks like a bit of a hard push going on towards the Alpha Cap at this stage um, for Vor. And also YYUT, but it looks like an interesting push is coming over here on the Charlie Cap with the Marceaux on both type, both teams. Yeah, but we've now got the Trump breaking off from the main group on the um, on, on the Alpha side. He could be heading towards the island mm. at the Bravo Cap. Yes. Uh, and go in from there. So... That could be their player having five DDs. Two DDs go to each flank, which they've done, and then send the fifth DD um, into the Bravo cap. Because if you That's look at it, 
That's exactly what they're doing. Yeah, because if you have a look at what Boar's done, they've got a split side, and um, four ships going to Alpha, five ships going to Charlie. Yeah. Ooh. They really don't have anything in that Bravo cap. Are the you guys thing, seeing that? There's a one sneaky ship going for the Bravo Cuff. Yes, that's the Trump. And the only thing it's got to really worry out, worry for, is that Sheaflin, as long as it doesn't get in range of its secondaries. As you can see, the Trump at the moment is repositioning itself and it's going to reverse into the Bravo Cap at this point. So, Which is a smart ooh. move for any, any DD main. Never... This one's getting caught. He's reversing. Hmm. Torps are in the water, but mm. the Marseille is going to be okay. But he will probably avoid the first batch, which he will. Second, I'm predicting there'll be a lot of torp damage going on this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I it, it's definitely going to be torp city. So at the moment, uh, we've had the uh, Z42 for Vor has got a. Torps headed out. Harugamo for the YYUT has fired his Torps as well. So it is. We're going to see a lot of Torp action. Mm -hmm. Nine, nine Torp uh, DDs in the game. Uh, rough calculation. What? That's probably about um, about forty Torps without any. <laughs> Booster reloads? Oh. Oh. A lot okay. of torps coming in here. Let's see any oh. torps. Oh. Is that gonna. Nah. No. No. no, no, no. no. no the, the... Wow. There's a lot of torps all over the place. You're right, guys. This one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now the torps. Ooh. Will they? Oh. oh right radar. radar. Uh, Petro. Petro and YYUT. He's got the. Uh, Radar up and running. Uh, it's gonna be some interesting uh, oh, action here. Is, okay, Worcester is also radaring. Okay, Z42 for Boars just popped his um, hydroacoustics. It's actually interesting how both teams are playing this out right now. It's just like, you know, with the amount of DDs in action here on both teams, you have to conserve and utilize and communicate your hydroacoustics to be able to detect those torps. Exactly. And... Okay. I can't work out what the Harugamo for... Uh, Vor, he's... Where is he? On... At, at D1. He's not... He's... Well, see, at the moment, they're at a stalemate on all sides, so... Yeah, there's a bit of a stalemate on all sides at the moment, so I'm not seeing anything that's you know that stands out. What we have predicted so far is Bravo Cab has been taken by the Trump by the YYET, and that's very good tactical positioning right there. But look at this, the uh, Sleafen is actually moving in hard over at uh, Foxtrot Six, and he's moving. He's in. Oh, he's attacking the Sleafen of War already. And kiting wow. already. Wow, okay, that's some aggressive pushing. They are shelling each other with secondaries. Well, that's what they've now got to do, is they've both got a cap, and we've now got uh, YYUT is now capping the alpha cap as well. Hmm. So, even though Vor do have a commanding lead in points at this time, um, we've seen What's... that change quite easily. Is Marseille going to eat Torps? Hey, exactly. Mm. Now, neither team... Marseille won't eat any Torps. He should be fine the way he is at the moment, uh, shooting and bamps, but uh -huh. should be fine. But hang on. With the Marseille? Nah. Uh, nah. Boy, boy. Boy, boy? Yes. Boy, boy. Boy, boy. Nobody's really making a commitment at the moment, like you're saying before. Whoa, uh, ASW, okay. actually, well, that's not okay. ASW, that's a big uh, airstrike attack from the Trump, and swing and a miss. That's uh, a miss. No, he did clip him, but it wasn't a huge amount of damage, but there was a bit of damage. Wow. Uh, 
They, they said 42 for boar. He's down to 15,000 health, so... At the moment, he's got um, his Hydrocoustics uh, up and running, and also his engine boost is ready to come down in a second here. But see, the Z42 for war, even though he's got to get out of there because he's been focused via the Trump and the Harugamo from YYUT. And so the, if he doesn't get out the, of there, he's 42. Is it the Trump? Yeah. Oh. See, the, the Trump's over here um at this stage and he's actually quite at an angle here and it's actually interesting to see a bit of crossfire action going from the schlieffen to the trump and the worcester at the same uh, uh, token here yeah thanks thanks gun seems like something's gonna eat torps or I'm not oh, okay no i'm surprised nobody's uh eating uh a lot at Torps. Well, he said there's a lot of them going out at the moment. What's happening yeah. over at Charlie? It doesn't like seem like make action at all. It looks like they're kiting away. You know, both uh, both teams are just moving away from each other. This is like oh. they're not coming in close. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh this cool. lot of Torps coming over here with three well, ships of Vore. This looks bad. Okay. They're they're gonna scatter. Oh this no, it's will... gonna be a ram. There's gonna be a problem oh, here. Uh, oh, this is not yeah. looking good. That's not good. That's the, that, that, oh, that this is, is cutting it close. Very oh. close. DD is DD, gonna uh, just miss one and it will hit the war chest up. War chest, dude. Oh, Wait. no way! They, that, that is ran so ran close. They ran out of steam. Wow, oh, that is oh. talking about so lucky for war right now. Wait, whoa, we can come and shells on the war chest, sir. That had the, that had the potential to cause a lot of damage. If they Man, had. that is so close. That would have yes. caused flooding and um, a lot of damage. That could have been yes. a possible dev strike as well too, you know. Well, yes, yeah, two DDs. Both of them are pretty low. Well, the Z42 is on the twelve thousand health. Right. Twenty twenty six thousand for the Harugamo, so. Yeah, it, it had the potential to um, put a big damage into their uh, overall well, team health. Well, why uh, why why UT has actually lost one DD so far? Yes, the Z42. Uh, what, who took him out? Uh, that was the Worcester, actually. From Vor. Didn't see that one happen. Whoa, the Harugumo and YYUT is getting hammered here. Oh, Harugumo. Looks like the Harugumo is going to go down. Yeah. Harugumo for okay. Vore is taking a bit of a brutal beating as well, too. Yeah, now, Vore is actually... Ooh, ouch. Oh, ouch. They... The Harugumo for Vore is going down, and the uh, YYUT Harugumo. is going down. Harugumo is going... burning, so he's down. Yeah. Ooh. Good call, yeah. good call, good call. Um, now, Vore secured the Charlie Cat. They're, there's no shit there that can really contest that. Hang on a minute. Is there a possibility that uh, the Z42 can... No, he won't be able to. Because he's got the no, trump he, on that. No, what he will do is throw the torps in two directions and angle them to away from the ship so he will actually get front and back. Well, that's what I would do in the DT. At the moment, uh, there's actually a bit of a hydroacoustic action going on from both sides. So there's a bit of a cooldown going on. Yeah, that they could just be recomposing, getting their thoughts. Here we go. Let's see what's the Z42 doing. No, he's getting for the feel of it. Okay, these two. It's a bit of a tic tac toe moment. They're trying to get a feel for each other. What? They are. What? They're feeling each other, Ram? Yeah. Not oh, yeah. that kind of way, Shin, but you know, they thought. <laughs> They're doing it in a way that, um, you know, like, uh, they're trying to read each other's minds and trying to, you know, predict what they're going to move and stuff. All right, that, that, that is a better wording for it. They're trying to get into each other's heads. <laughs> oh, here comes Z42 oh. getting some shells and coming from Ohio. Wow, that's interesting. Well, the Trump's taking a bit of a... Oh, Z40's probably well. going to... 
Is it gonna torp the Petro? Or, or right now, if the Petro rushes the Z42, he's gonna take the Z42 out. But at the same time, the Z42 doesn't back up and try and torp the Petro. That one's a definite stable mode. So one of them has to give, even with the St. Vincent there. Yeah, but St. Vincent's going to be interesting because he's coming in to help out and the Marseille is coming in to help out as well too. But look at this. The Trump is sent an airstrike. And that's a swing nice. and a miss. But that's a six. I love the effects. The art department have done an exceptional great job with this. That the heck? Especially the ricochet, man. Oh, I love the the way the ricochets go now. You get that. Oh. <laughs> but it looks like, um, you know, that even though YYUT has two captain play, um, and the Schlieffen, for Vor, funnily enough, is coming into the middle. All right. So Whoa, hello. That, that's a bold move on, on the Schlieffen's part. Is he gonna squeeze for force? Yes, it will. Unless, of course, it runs out again. Oh no, it's not gonna eat orbs. Well. Nah, he, he'll dodge him. Oh, just. Yeah, yes. Oh. Could have got a, could have got a DD alongside him and still missed all those torps. Yeah, yeah. But so this is interesting. We've got the sleep sleeping for YYUT is now opening up on Vors. So we're going to see a battle here. It's going to come Ooh. down. Thorsten coming from the run. Why were you two here? It's yeah. A, oh, it's a man the, brawl in the Petro middle. has been taken out. Someone died. Petro ah. has been destroyed. I said, that, I said that was going to happen. Yep. And that was taken out by the Z42. 42, yeah. And the... Then it must have been... Look at that health of those uh, events. And he must have copped it a beating. So he must have been the decoy. And now the, there's some Marcel betting pummel there. Ooh. Oh, Marcel is getting hammered here. Well, Vol, 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 it's it's probably Vol, dead. Right yeah, he's yeah. getting. Oh, yeah. Marso on Marso action. Although the other Marso isn't doing well as well. Probably might take some damage on that last salvo. Oh, no. Okay. There's a miss. Nothing happening over there, really. Whoa, oh, nice oh, hit on sleeping. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, and there's a second hit. <laughs> well, that's Shafelin. Hey, Come on! Boom. <laughs> did... Was that the Marseille that did that? With the yes, yes he did. did. Yeah, Your broadside shot. Marseille that did... That was a good ploy, actually, by Vord's, uh The Shafelin on the Vaud side was to draw him in closer. And I noticed that the Marcel hadn't fired a shot for a little while so he may have been dark hmm and then the oh Schlieffen... incoming talks on the marseille speaking about that no that won't hit him it's too far out not enough time for uh harugumo what are you doing are you slowing down uh, this is... uh, uh, that's not uh -huh. looking good I mean, he can still dodge. That's an easy dodge if he just knows that there's. Nice, don't. But it doesn't think seem like so. he knows. He's oh, gonna no, eat he one. He's gonna eat he's one. He's gonna eat. Yep. eat, eat and that's two. not a good one. <laughs> Ohio for uh, YYUT eight two tour from the Z forty two. Oh, is the wizard um, gonna die? Raven, we have been asked oh. why is Vor playing. Uh. Right. Well, I just replied to it on chat, I guess. They they they're still playing uh, the loser. Uh, well, this is not really a. This is like a loser bracket um, for competing towards the third place uh, for King of the Sea. Uh, to answer your question, uh, Spring Lincoln. Z forty two is now out. Yep. Oh. Trump's down, and also Ohio is done, he is done for, uh, gone, and there you go. And oh. that's a lot of dead chips. Okay. So, War has won. Even okay. though they had the caps with the other team, mm, they managed to swing it in their favor. Yep. Yes, so, congratulations to War there. Well done, well played. That is very well played right there. 
Okay, so with that uh, being said, though, folks, I mean, like, we're gonna get ourselves ready for the next.